while I was working with my own GPSTO project, I acquired multiple of the GPSTO modules of, of multiple sources. And one of the modules which I acquired was True Position GPSTO module, which was a really nice small little module. This is a completely open source project. Link to the project page is available in the video description. Here's how GPSTO module looks like. There's a big OCXO module, a 10 MHz sine wave output. Although output is not very clean, so I do have LC filter on my distribution board. I had multiple of these boards. One of them I received was faulty. I desoldered a few components and the OCXO module. You can see these two SOICs. One of them is DAC and one of them is high resolution temperature sensor. I also desoldered GPSO module. Let's turn on the unit. Firmware can automatically send required proceed message. Looks like GPS module is waiting for the satellites to be locked. There are four completely isolated output in the front. Each of the output has its own driving transformer. Part of the body of the connector is made of plastic and it's not making any electrical contact with the enclosure. So all of the outputs are electrically isolated from each other. On the front there are four BNC output. Each is 10 MHz output. In the back of the unit, there's a slot for micro USB, power, GPS and one PPS output. This PPS is directly driven by the GPSTO module. You can directly connect GPSTO module to PC using a micro USB cable and this port here. It will be displayed as USB to serial converter and will be installed as COM port in Windows and as terminal in Linux. On the bottom there are four rubber pads. Enclosure used in this project is from Hammond. Part number is 1455N1201. Here is the specification sheet from the manufacturer. It shows all the dimensions required and it clearly mentioned in the center excluded design for 100 mm wide PCB port. So our board is supposed to be 100 mm wide. But unfortunately GPSTO module was supposed to go in there is not 100 mm wide. As you can see in the cement, I made these two red things. These are little flanges made out of FR4 PCB. By using these flanges we can exactly match the dimension of 100 mm and GPS GPSTO module will nicely slide into the enclosure. Micro USB connector for the back panel access is also mounted on these flanges and a cable will run over to the distribution board. This is the front panel PCB. It has one switch and one little OLED display, 128 by 88 pixels. Here are a few images of the assembly process. There are five lines of the display. First line displays current date and time. There was not enough space, so year is not printed. And the current GPS DO state machine status. Current right now state machine is acquiring. Third line normally displays survey status and hold up. How much time is remaining for the current running survey and how long we have been in holdover in minutes or seconds, depending on how long the duration is. Third line displays on the screen how many satellites we are locked to right now we are locked to 11 satellites and TFTM is 4 current OCXO temperature is 50.5 degrees and DAC voltage is 2.3 volts you can switch to second screen by just press of this button 
latitude and longitude and elevation you can quickly switch between screens if you like three different ways to push it and multiple functions depending on how you push it simple presses in normal state switch between screens home screen and coordinate display screen you can press quickly to switch between screens no if press a little bit longer the same button can be used get into start survey menu now screen is displaying start survey menu now if now short clicks of this button will increment the survey duration how long proposed survey will run if we start it you can press this button a little longer to get out of this menu and let's get back let's start a one hour survey maximum duration is 48 hours what is supported by this gps team only you have to press and hold the button to start survey as soon as survey starts screen will automatically display survey message survey started Now it is displaying how many second of time remaining for this survey. If time duration is too long, it will display in minutes. Ah, right now, eight satellites are locked. TFTM is four, fifty-one degrees Celsius. TSC. There are four LED indicators. First one is for holdover, which is an amber color LED. Second one is for antenna fault, which is a red color LED. Third one is 10 megahertz output invalid, which is also a red color LED. Fourth one is PPS, which is a green color. LED. PPS LED is directly controlled by the GPS module. First three LEDs are driven by microcontroller. Let's see how does it look when there is an antenna fault. I will disconnect the antenna cable. Now antenna is disconnected. You can see antenna fault LED comes up. And now we are displaying we are in holdover for four seconds and holdover LED also turns on. Let's connect back the antenna and at first antenna LED will go off and then hold over. I have connected the antenna. Antenna LED is off now and we are waiting. We receive holdover messages once every five seconds. So holdover seconds update in five seconds step. The BNC cable from the GPS to unit is directly connected to spectrum analyzer input of my oscilloscope.
let's look at spectrum analyzer how the output appears on spectrum analyzer as you can see as you can see output is really really clean second harmonics is around 57 dB down as you can see even with the 10 dBm output level output is really really clean with second harmonics is around 57 dB down